This quartet is very unusual in that the first movement starts off slowly and we have a complete movement of slow, he marks it allegretto. So we have a middle section which is development and then a recapitulation. But it ends in the wrong key. What you would expect is we're going to play it in the key of G now. doesn't do that. He puts it into F sharp major, which is a crazy key to choose. So what you get is why he chose that is because the strings that we play don't vibrate with F sharp major and he's trying to get a special sound. So the difference in sound that you hear is because the strings aren't vibrating because the notes are not in, in harmony with the strings. So we play the last two chords again and you hear the difference. The marking of Mesto for the slow movement is very unusual. It's the only time that Haydn uses it. And I think although it has this sad quality, for me it's almost autumnal. It's not just sad, it's not pure melancholy. It has tremendous warmth as well. I would like to say that the minuet has very large leaps. It uh, has um, things like big, big um, intervals, and it has quite a large range from in my part to going quite high. And then suddenly in the trio, the whole thing is kept in, in just a very, very small range in the cello part, especially. keeps repeating in the same notes as if it's got stuck in a totally different sort of uh, mood. When we go back to the minuet, we feel as if we've been released from this, sort of being bottled up in the trio. The last movement is a trick that he plays quite frequently, but very often in the first movements. He asks us to start the last movement like this. which is the end. So you don't know what's going to happen. And that's a trick that he plays with all his quartets. The Opus 76s seem to have a complexity of different dimensions, whereas some of the earlier quartets have one particular characteristic. I find, in, in, for instance, in this first movement, that there are so many different dimensions, different levels, where you don't get just a one clear cut character, but a character which has ambiguities and paradox in it.
Thank you.